Okay, fume heads, you don't wear Harajuku lovers to get respect. For a start, these eau de toilettes come out of a doll. A completely irresistible doll. Or, as the Harajuku girls say, <gasps> super kawaii! G and the Gwen Stefani doll smells like the kind of tropical punch that comes with little plastic monkeys. There's coconut and mandarin, and it has a hot, dry feel like it's fresh out of the tumble dryer. It ends up smelling like high calorie figs, nutty and sweet, kind of like Gwen herself. Music reminds me of Calyx by Prescriptives with its dense, fruity sweetness. It's a combo of tart pear, sweet pea, and honeysuckle. Music starts off sugary, but dries down to light, musky woods. Baby smells like hairspray. Very long-lasting hairspray. Then, after everyone on Earth dies and the planet becomes a cold gray rock, Baby turns into a kind of sophisticated, powdery, vintage-style perfume. But by then, no one's left to enjoy it. Love smells like indecisive flowers. What flower shall I be? I don't know. Maybe I'll be musk instead. Oh, love, you're pretty. Pick a lane. Little Angel is sweet fruit. The ingredients list berries, pineapple, and something called lollipop accord. So I think you know where you stand with Little Angel. I'd count your teeth after wearing it. Smelling all five Harajuku lovers in one sitting is like going on a bender in Trader Vic's in 1967. Waitress, no. Not another rum giggle the size of my head. Oh, maybe just one more. Check out Panacea 81's YouTube channel to watch Lauren's Harajuku Girls-inspired makeup tutorial. You're going to smell lickable and look yummy. I'm Katie Puckrick, and I smell. Trisha was number five.